I have to knock it over, I assume. Come on. Oh, it's time to go. sense that. feeling I have to go in there, don't I? like that whole orb thing. Oh, yeah. Smart. Picked up four-phase amplitude rod, Trinity steam rod. <laughs> This is a full set of three rods. If a full set of three rods is unavailable, there's one rod in the inner study rooms, which might work in case the elevator breaks down again. Unless it's absolutely necessary, always use the spare rods in the storage before using a mended one. So there's one rod in the inner study rooms. No, dead end. No, 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 no. I don't know 
where it went. Study halls are up in the main area. And so I'm probably good to get back there. Assuming, of course. That my buddy has dicked off. Let's go, let's go. Oh, thank you. The thin cold mist brushed his face as he stepped outside. London weather could be cruel, but it was the kind of cruelty he could handle. Oh.
Don't forget your bag, Daniel. I won't, Herbert. There is no shame in using a parasol in the desert. As it happens, it's imperative to your survival. But it looks ridiculous. The shame will hurt much less than dying, I assure you. Parasol. I'm not sure what that is. I imagine these must be the studies, or or one of them is a study. Guest room. Study. Perfect. Is this another dream, he thought, and screamed at the top of his lungs. Okay. There's a missing piece that should be in the study somewhere. I'm just hoping things are cool for a while. found oil for a while so I'm I gotta be like extra thorough here oh I am like at the bottom of the barrel Quite literally, Getting closer somehow. Is that me talking to me? Letter regarding the discovery of an orb to my most trusted student in French, Johann Weyer. The most remarkable thing happened as I was traveling through the Prussian woods this summer. I finally found one of the orbs I've been looking for the last 20 odd years. It is as inexplicable as the Heliodromus described it in the Hortus Conclusus. It was as... It was as it was told about, an underground Mithraic temple crowned with the unearthly artifact. The orb was big enough to fill my cupped hands and the texture was smooth and jagged, its color washed while rich. Contrast is not enough to describe its nature. It was an impossibility, an artificial paradox captured within stone. I was staying in a nearby village called Alstadt, investigating one of the antiquated, antiquated trails when I finally found the cavern. I went inside and, I suddenly, and suddenly I could verify the truth of these enigmatic artifacts. They were real. As you can understand, this is the most important discovery of my life, but it also has become my greatest fear. As I entered the underground chamber, I could feel that I was trespassing. Because of my curiosity, I did my best to fight these instincts and fetch the orb from its place. I scrambled out of the chamber and into the woods. I could sense something was following me. It bayed loudly as it closed in. The beast, this guardian of the orb, was relentless in its pursuit. I made my way to a nearby ravine when it, where I stumbled upon some men fishing in the lake. I tried to warn them as I passed, but unfortunately they remained as I continued my escape. When I heard their cry of pain echo through the valley, I felt such a tremendous sense of relief, thinking I would be spared. Suddenly, a blue shimmering light engulfed me, and the colors of the forest were washed away before my eyes. I kept running through the bleak surroundings. The trees had turned charcoal, black with leaves of cinder, the ground covered in murky water. I pressed on through the drenched land as the glowing amber gave way to the rising wind and rained on me. I could hear pleading screams in the distance, and as I joined in, and I joined in as pain and fear overtook me, I fell to the ground, gasping for air. This certainly must sound strange, but I had... I had been carried miles away across the Alps to a grassy field outside Genoa. The Guardian had taken the orb from me, but still, until this day, I feared its return. Sometimes I'd lay awake at night, listening for the howling cry I heard in the forest. It has been nearly a decade since that day, and I still haven't been able to write about the incident. The last time we spoke, you told me about your interest in ongoing research into the mythic orbs, and I realized I owed you the truth about my visit to Allstadt. Your friend and mentor... Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa. Now, we've read about Heinrich before. Um, no. I 
I'm sure we did. Heinrich, right here. The well-known erudite visited Allstadt in the start of the 16th century. During his stay, the prominent members of society paid notice and mentioned many records of the time. Heinrich is known to have passed away in Grenoble some 10 years later. This is in the 16th century. Dismiss the notion of ever visiting Allstadt. So, obviously, now... This is a letter that he wrote. About finding this orb. Okay. The orb obviously has something to do with it. With what's going on here. It has to. Chambers of the human skull. Milestones of human anatomy. Understanding locomotion. Understanding balance. The canine jaw. Oh, what? Animal experiment. Canis lupus familiaris. Dog. After a short study, it is clear that the agitation found among humans can be found in the dog. Fear and pain induce stress, which seems to trigger an endog endogenous response, causing the animal to burst with energy. I believe that the catalyst is produced in the brain. It is difficult to determine exactly where and what it is, but I can sense it. It reeks of cosmic genesis. There is an inherent problem in harvesting this energy, since the creature is bound to die from the exercise. I must refine this process of torture to enable any real work to be done. More experiments must be performed, but it seems that only human beings are able to produce the amount necessary. It might be their ability to appreciate the severity of the process that ultimately augments their experience of terror. He's trying to, like, draw out... Um... Like... Terror from people. He's trying to figure out, like, if he can measure that, in a sense. Refine the process of torture to enable any real work to be done. Uh. Let's see what you have to offer. <clears throat> ah, what a mess. I should have sharpened the saw. But I can sense it. It's definitely there. He's trying to sense fear, maybe? This freaking guy. Can't believe I helped him, or worked with him, or was even associated with him in some sense. Oh, God, no. Oh, God, no. That is terrifying. Anatomy Frontiers. January 9th, 58. Further disappointment. The antiquarian's latest findings yield nothing. I'm still unable to grasp the inner workings of life and its relation to the, the power I sense within it. I shall pursue more books on the subject, but I suspect it will be in vain. Since no research has been made in my particular interest, I must attempt to fill that void myself. Clearly humans emanate more of the energy I seek, and I hope animals will suffice as they would prove less of a hassle to acquire. He needs this, like, evil or fearful energy for what and why. Oh, shit. Oh, what do we have here? Nothing. Oh, I hear dogs barking. Ah, oh, I don't like that. I wonder if I need one of these for something. Jesus. 
I don't want to know if we want to find out either. What the shit? S uh, okay. 